Good morning. Okay, this is the third time that I've done this video. I'm just sharing that. Okay, anyway, so I did it. Let's see. I did my day two of my three page morning pages routine. And it was a little bit more of a struggle this morning to do so. Only because I think I need to figure out a way to do this, like a better routine for it. So this morning, about 4.30, I had to drive somewhere and I listened to a Mel Robbins podcast, her third episode about the 54321 rule, which by the way, is actually really brilliant and very validating because what I realized listening to her podcast is that I already did it. I just used different language on it, right? A different slight message, but it's the same idea. So you know how I talked about before about if you want to get something done, you actually have to start it, right? And then how sometimes I might start something, not out of anger, but kind of with that angst of, fine, I'll start it, right? Just so I can get it done. Well, that's kind of like the 54321 rule. I think it's called a rule. I'll double check on that. But anyway, I'm going to do a session on that because it's so validating and it's such a great technique. And whether you do five, four, three, two, one, get up and go, or if you just say, fine, I'll start it, and then you go do it, you're still getting it done. So like, yay us, right? So I'll talk about that in a session. So I had listened to that about 4.30ish, and when I came back, it's so about you know quarter to six, 5.30, I decided to do my morning pages. And I was going to kind of do a summary of everything that I heard on the podcast. But then I realized that uh, I can't do that because I'm not supposed to read the pages. And if I did the summary, then how would I be able to, you know, review it? So when I do the next session, I can talk about it. So I didn't do that. I did write a lot about what I had to do um, and was able to kind of flush that out and just kind of rehash what happened yesterday. And I don't know. It was kind of a struggle, but I did it. So three pages done. Yay me. Even if half a page was about poo. And that's all you need to know. Okay. Now, I also did my day four of the 21 day abundance challenge with Deepak there. This is my second round, remember, right? Um, and day four, the centering thought is from this moment forward, I invite unlimited abundance into my life. Sorry, I had a really hard time saying abundance there for a minute. So from this moment forward, I invite unlimited abundance into my life. That's the centering thought. And it was all about pure consciousness and how the pure consciousness is that gap between thoughts. I like that gap. I don't get it very often, to be honest, but I like it. And I'm going to work for that to make that gap longer and longer. Oh my goodness, to actually sit in that stillness and to feel that there's no words to describe what it feels like. Even if you only get it for a smidgen of a second, that feeling is right up there with gratitude. So anyway, um, here's what's happening though with the abundance challenge. So he'll do a little talk and he'll talk about, you know, abundance and how it's unlimited and pure consciousness and all that kind of stuff. And then we do a meditation bit with um, a, a mantra. And we're supposed to use the mantra to bring us back on track again, right? Because, you know, sometimes your thoughts go off, <laughs> as I know mine do. So when you find your thoughts going off, then you're supposed to say in this time, aham pramasmi, aham pramasmi. So I basically said aham pramasmi the whole time because my thoughts were woo all over the place. I even caught myself saying, am I saying it right? And what happens if you say it wrong? Would it still work? I think it will. I think because I think that saying basically is just trying to get you back into that stillness. So even if you said it wrong, it still has a purpose. At least that's what I'm telling myself. God, I would love to ask Deepak. Really, I would ask him, what happens in your head when you meditate? 
he's probably going to say silence and stillness because that's what you want. But man, I would love to ask him, what, what, what is it like in your head? <laughs> anyway, um, oh, I'm already in five minutes and I'm going to have to run out the door and start my day. So I just want to say, I did it. Yay me. High five. I can't wait to do the session on the high five. That's also by Mel Robbins too. And um, have a really great day. Because you know what? If I can do it, you can do it. Have a good one.